G'day guys, that guy Perps here, back with another music reaction video. I'm going to be jumping into Draft, uh, Hollywood Hills. Now, we haven't had Draft on the channel before, mainly because I've got all his albums. Um, there's about seven or eight of them. I got them all on vinyl, um, and it's only coming up to release a new album now since I started the channel. So, if we get, um, I don't know, what, 50 likes or something like that, uh... I'll go back and do the other two that he's released from this upcoming album. Uh, he's got one featuring Complete, another rapper from WA. And yeah, uh, I might even pull the vinyls out and, and have a look. Some of the artwork on them is, is pretty good. Um, a lot of them come from, you know, the early 2000s and, and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's good to see how artwork, music and everything has uh, has grown. So um yeah like i said if we get 50 likes on this one i'll uh i'll bring them out in the next one and we'll, we'll do that one that features complete so uh, but yeah like i mentioned draft is from wa um he likes to mention a a few iconic um western australian things in in some of his raps really represents the state and everything pretty well um he's been on a few national tours he's had number ones he's released you know his discography is is huge and there's bangers and classics throughout all of them so uh, i'm quite excited for this one it's been a minute since i've actually listened to draft um and yeah with his upcoming album coming up i'm pretty excited to get my grubby little hands on that one and check it out in the full uh obviously you know on vinyl and that's how i like to experience new albums um yeah i still haven't got around listening to a full album on Spotify and all that sort of stuff. It's, you know, I don't know. There's something, there's something very different about sitting down, nice headset, listening to a vinyl that just, it just does it for me. You know, it just relaxes me. I listen to the music better. Um, you know, it's all good. Yeah. Having Spotify when you go in the gym, going for a walk, um, you know, in the car, all that sort of stuff. But to, um, for me to sit down and fully appreciate an artist's work and, and how they've presented it in an album format, I like to sit down, look at the cover, look at the artwork, look at everything that goes into making a vinyl special, you know? Um, it's like people that like reading an actual book or, or flicking through on an iPad or something, you know? Um, but yeah, let's get into draft. Like I said, if we uh, run this up to uh, 50 likes, we'll do the other one in the next couple of days. And yeah. Hopefully you like this. I'm keen to see what the new sounds like. Um, let's get into it. It's different. Definitely Aussie more so. Gum trees. And Right Not a coyote right. on the Hollywood Hill. Can you tell me what... <laughs> Captain America shield. Oh, yeah, and then we got... Who's that? The Flash. They're driving around the old Fairlane. Old Ford Fairlane. Classic Not car. a coyote on the Hollywood Hill. Can you tell me what is real little matter is out? <laughs> Batman's sitting back having a having a ciggy and uh, some uh, was it Jax or Jim? It was Jax. Yeah, Jack Daniels. Cigarette. <laughs> oh, and he's there with a makeshift crowd of superheroes. This is gonna be some fun. Swain, so glad to see you, man. Just so a dude with a gun, run towards some nuns, towards some young kids with the little red kittens. Come on, help! And then he goes, get lost, Mel. Gives him what the fuck he's drunk. Go put a shit with a barbie or something. It's Tuffy and Batman. Go take a lead, Hugh Jackman. You think I. <laughs> Alright, so he's already mentioned Mel Gibson and Hugh Jackman. Um, obviously, like everything that's, that's sort of good, that's sort of Australian, we like to claim it. Um, you know, Mel Gibson being 
American, but he did move here when he was younger and, and, uh, yeah. So we sort of claim him as, his, as our own, um, Hugh Jackman though. Yeah. Just wonderful guy. Um, it's funny. I, I was just having a chat with my work colleague today about Hugh Jackman. Um, we're talking about Keith Urban and, and how he's just such a genuinely nice sort of guy and everything about him just is like sunshine and lollipops and rainbows and everything's just nice, you know? And then, uh, Hugh Jackman came into the same sort of thing, you know, like he's just a, a genuine, nice sort of person, you know, he's sort of, you know, he's the person that everyone wants to be friends with. Um, yeah, I just thought that was funny when I heard that. I'm young kids with the little but kittens, come on, help. And then he goes, get lost, Mel. Gibson, what the fuck, you drunk? Go put a shrimp on a barbie or something. It's Tuffy and Batman. Go take a lead, Hugh Jackman. You think I fucking wanted this? Walking around on Sunset Strip. Summer heat in the suit. Is this what my life's come to? I was an actor, now I clown around for chumps like you. I don't want no trouble, I'm a lover. I don't want to fight. I know you know Robin. We brothers from other mothers, guy. I know <laughs> host of the apprentice. He was your leader. So I love that flow switch, too. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Clown around for chumps like you. I don't want no trouble. I'm a lover. I don't want to fight. I know you know Robin. We brothers from other mothers, guy. I'm the host of the yeah. apprentice. He was your leader. So we're all screwed without a prenup. And I don't feel like fight a coyote from the Hollywood Hill. But can you tell me what is real? Now, there's probably a heap of cameos in this that I'm just missing. Um, I haven't really been into the visual side of the scene a lot, so a lot of the people in here are probably, you know, important um, or other rappers or uh, something to do with the Western Australian scene, most probably. Um, but, yeah, if, if I am missing anything, I do apologise. I'm, I'm just... Yeah, this is such a fun little track that he's made. Ain't no gold beneath the silver screen. Hey! Sit around the cast to catch then Scripts are being passed around freely But the most important role to play yourself No one wants to apply with then Intends they hike under the sign Is it a sign of the time Or to hide the horse shit Distract from the misfortune Black rangers tinted windows Driving around their coffin the da, 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 da. Another coyote on the Hollywood Hill And let's be honest I don't, I don't think that i've heard draft really sing before yeah i'm not mad at it um i think the the style that he's going for here really really does suit the sort of you know upbeat vibe um yeah like i'm just trying to think like again i don't have a very good memory so he probably has sung before on something but i'm just it's not clicking um but I don't think to this extent. And yeah, like I said, I'm not mad at it. I, I think it works really well. Tinted windows driving around their coffin. Da, 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 da. Another coyote on the Hollywood Hill. But can you tell me what is real little matter for yourself? Another coyote car chasing this thing. I bet you he got to hire out that, um, oh, he's in WA. I was going to say, I bet you he got to hire out that cinema really cheap because of, you know, the pandemic and everything and no one's going out and that would have just been, you know, you know, 500 bucks. Yeah, sweet. That's 500 bucks more than we would have made. But WA has done a pretty good job at isolating itself and shutting itself off from everyone. So 
Uh, that probably still had cinemas, unlike the most of the rest of Australia. Um, but, but yeah, they've, um, you know, Perth is, I think, I think it's the most isolated city in the world. Like it's, you know, thousands of kilometers away from the closest nearest city, which, you know, around the rest of the world, that's just unheard of. Again, didn't know really what to expect. Um, haven't heard the, the last couple of drops, like I mentioned before. And if this is the, the route the album's sort of heading, it's sort of fun, upbeat, something that we need in this, you know, time of the world. Um, you know, you could bop around to this, chuck it on while you're driving, chuck it on, do some housework or whatever, just sort of dance along while you're doing it. Um and, you know, there's some funny comedy bars in there too. Um, obviously, the visuals help with, you know, having everyone in the masks and everything like that. But, um, yeah, overall, I'd say I'd say it's a solid release. And it's made me even more keen to check out the, uh, the whole album when it comes out. Um, hopefully, like I said, he lives up to previous efforts and, and releases it on vinyl. Um, you know, some artists just don't anymore. And I understand, you know, it is, it is an overhead cost. There is a lot of costs involved in pressing vinyls now, uh, because they're not as popular as they were, but they are making a resurgence. A lot of people are getting back into them. Um, yeah, hopefully he does. And if he's putting in pre-orders anywhere and someone, and I can't find them before I drop the next one, someone please let me know down in the comments section, because I, I want to get onto that, start saving away my pennies for that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of this one, guys, down in the comments section. Hit me up on Instagram if you want me to react to something else. Um, goal, 50 likes, hit that like button, smash that like button, destroy that like button, pulverize that like button, all those good things every other reactor tells you to do. But please just uh, take your mouse over and click it gently for me. We don't want to damage any of your equipment. And um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, guys, I'm that guy, Perps. Please hit that subscribe button. Be part of the Purple Fam. And until next time, like always, I'll catch you then.